In this video, I want to find the exact coordinates of intersection of the two lines y equals the square root of 2 times x plus root 3 take away 2 and y equals the square root of 3 times x plus root 3 take away root 6. So in order to solve these, I'm going to put one equal to the other. So I'm going to write root 2 times x plus root 3 take away 2 is equal to root 3 times x plus root 3 take away root 6. OK. Now, I want to get all of the x's onto one side of the equation. So I'm going to take root 3x from both sides. And I'll have root 2x take away root 3x. And I'll move everything else onto the right side. Now, I've got root 3 and root 3, so they can go. Uh, take those from both sides. And I can add 2 to both sides to get 2 take away root 6. So I'll factorise the left-hand side. Root 2 take away root 3 times x is equal to 2 take away root 6. And so x dividing both sides by the bracket is 2 take away root 6 over root 2 take away root 3. Now I'm going to rationalise the denominator. Multiply top and bottom by root 2 plus root 3. And we'll have 2 times root 2, so 2 root 2. Then 2 times root 3. Then minus root 6 times root 2, which is going to be minus root 12. Now minus root 12, uh, 12 is 4 times 3, so that would be minus 2 root 3. And we've got the minus root 6 times root 3, so that would be minus root 18. Um, 18 is 9 times 2, so that's 3 root 2. So let's take away 3 root 2. Almost run out of space there. And in the denominator, we have root 2 times root 2, which is 2. And then root 2 times root 3 and minus root 3 times root 2, they cancel each other away. Minus root 3 times root 3 is minus 3. So in the numerator, we've got 2 root 3 take away 2 root 3, they're gone. 2 root 2 take away 3 root 2 is minus root 2. And in the denominator, we've got minus 1. And so x has to be root 2. Now, if x is equal to root 2, I can substitute it into one of the two equations. So I'll substitute it into equation number 1. So I'll call that number 1. So sub x equals root 2 into 1. And we'll get root, so y equals, rather, y equals root 2 times root 2 plus root 3 take away 2. So root 2 times root 2 is, of course, 2. So 2 take away 2 is 0, so we're just left with the root 3. So these two lines intersect at root 2, root 3.